Crane melons were bred in early 20th century in Sonoma County, California. They require warm days and cold nights. They are ripened on the vine and once they ripen, they are really delicate. You can't take them far long distances because they crack open. That's the reason they have become a localized fruit valued for its rarity and flavor. They are medium sized, about five pounds each. They are oval shaped with one side pointed. But the best part is that they ripen in early fall when all other melons have already finished. Hi, this is Ruchi and I'm sure you have guessed by now that I'm going to show you how to grow these rare crane melons at home. So I bought a crane melon last year and uh, while I was done eating it, I saved its seeds. And this year in spring, I planted those seeds in a seedling container because uh, in spring it is still cold out here. So I kept the seedling container indoors. Within a week, it started to germinate. And once the seedlings came out, I used to bring it outside in the sun in the daytime, and then I'll take it inside at night. Slowly, uh, the seedlings grew. And this is to make sure that, you know, they stay healthy, they don't become leggy. Once they develop true leaves, I decided to transplant them outside. The first two leaves are the seed leaves and in most of the plants they are very different than the actual leaves of the plants. So third leaf onward, you know, that those are called true leaves. So once it developed, you know, two true leaves, I decided to transplant it outside. So you should choose a location where it is sunny, at least six hours of full sun. They require warm days. You also want to have good drainage in your uh, container or on the ground wherever you are planting it because they don't like wet feet. Sometimes when people are planting it uh, in the ground, they make a mound of dirt and plant it on the top of that mound so that you know the excess water drains away. They also require uh, moist soil. So you should use a lot of organic matter in the soil. Then uh, just uh, transplant the plants there. When the weather gets hot, you should mulch uh, the soil so that the moisture is retained for a longer period of time because they are going to grow in hot sun in summers. So uh, the moisture needs to be retained and mulching helps in that. Keep watering it uh, every day because you know they grow outside in summer so they need water every day. Uh, make sure leaves are looking healthy. Within two, three months you will start to see some flowers and you will see small melons appearing. So in the beginning those melons will drop and that is okay because they didn't get pollinated that's why they keep dropping. But at some point they'll get pollinated and you will get melons. But suppose uh, none of the melons are getting pollinated, maybe you want to hand pollinate them. Then uh, once uh, the melon starts to grow, you want to put some mulch or something under the melon if it is on the ground so that it doesn't rot. If it is in direct contact with um, the dirt, it may rot. So you may want to put some mulch around it. So this is a good plan to grow in balconies because then you can use uh, railings to uh, support all these vines. And you can put some net uh, around the fruit to support it. Slowly melons will start to develop beige net on the skin. When the complete uh, fruit is beige, then you can assume that it is ready to be picked. Also, it becomes very fragrant. When it is ripe, it, is, it becomes very fragrant. So you may want to look out for that and pick it. You can also leave it in the pantry for a couple of days and then just enjoy the melon. Uh, once you cut the melon and you eat it, save the seeds for the next season, just like I did. That's about it.
So I hope this video was useful to you. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and I'll try to answer as soon as possible. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to your channel and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. And I'll see you next time. Happy gardening. Bye.